Good morning. These numbers are certainly alarming for renters who likely have seen the cost of living increase exponentially over the past several years. And this year in the Valley, we have seen jumps of up to 8% since the winter lows that we saw last December and January. And last year, last August was the high. And this year, we've seen a 5.6 increase from the high of last year. So certainly a large number of rents going up. Well, according to Rent Cafe, renters make up roughly 44% percent of the Phoenix population and this past July in Maricopa County over 7,000 people were evicted from their apartments. If you are currently looking for an apartment you'll find listing prices on the website likely changing every day based on a variety of factors demand availability and desirability of location. But what's unusual about this year John Leckie a researcher tracking rent trends says demand is low but prices are still soaring. The average price of a Phoenix apartment is $2,100. The number itself is a is a median number among uh, all the apartments in our inventory that are in the Phoenix Metro. Um, so so that's what that's what the number is. Um, you know, I think in, in in Phoenix, you know, that we've and and throughout the the, the Mountain West, really, um, we see we saw some really extreme rent growth um, throughout the pandemic, um, and so you know, year over year, prices in Phoenix are up um, about a little over five and a half percent. Now, it's not just here in Arizona. Nationally, rent prices are up as well. The average is $2,052. And just out of curiosity, we checked out the apartment complex you see here behind me, the Ryan. Now, keep in mind, this is a nicer location. It's right by the Footprint Center downtown. But the studios cost, or they start rather, at about $1,600 uh, and range up to the upper 3000s. Guys? Wow. For a studio, 1650. That's crazy. All right. It's really crazy. All right, Sarah, thank you. Uh